So this is a regular uh, SharePoint 2013 team site. It's actually a developer site, as you can see from a URL here. Um, so um, what you can do, if I click here on admin, if I have proper permissions and click on SharePoint, uh, it'll obviously by default take me to the list of all the site collections. And one of the things that you'll see is I have here a public site as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on it and uh, click on actual URL and what I have here is the version of the SharePoint 2013 public site. Um, so let's take a look at some of the things. As you can see, uh, well, obviously this is something that I already played with. So the theme that you see on a background here is something that I've changed, but it's all out of the box, I promise. So first things first, if you remember in 2010, um, public sites, the uh, whole editing experience, if I click on gear icon here and click edit page, was kind of not exactly like a regular SharePoint publishing site. Uh, this one is a little bit more closer uh, to it. So you can actually change page layouts and things like you would normally do in a SharePoint publishing site. Uh, you can insert uh, web parts if you have a proper page layout. Um, and uh, you know, all of, the, all of the sort of user experience is, is there. Now let's take a look at what happens when we go to, this, uh, to the settings. So I'm gonna go to the settings and uh, you could see that the settings here aren't quite exactly the same. So just to compare, I'm gonna um, open a regular uh, SharePoint team site and I'm just gonna swap the public here with uh, with a regular team site so the settings that we see here even though this is a team site uh, you know we have site collection features uh, we have site features here we have you know solutions whole bunch of things we don't have quite that many items here so um, essentially this site is geared towards more simplified sort of uh, editing experience and the features here are mostly around the design and, and the content authoring um, there's obviously essentials like permissions and stuff so let's take a look at uh, some of the things that are available for uh, regular sort of uh, UI uh, for the site so we're back on the public side um, as you can see we have access to master page and page layouts gallery and um, if I click on this one, you'll see that Microsoft pre-populated um, or added quite a bit of uh, different master pages for us. So remember how TeamSide just has uh, Oslo and Seattle. Well, here we have Berlin, we have Lyon, et cetera, et cetera. And we have also uh, mobile versions of those master pages. So um, obviously geared more towards mobile experience. And you'll see what that where that is, is actually showing up. So if I go back to my settings here, um, and if I click on master pages, I can actually pick the layout right here. So let's say if I pick Tokyo and then I say Tokyo mobile. And uh, so, so here's where you pick the mobile experience for the, for the actual site. Uh, so I'm gonna click okay and uh, any moment now, uh, go back to my site. So here the whole you know, navigation is now stretched out. It's not a centered website. Uh, so one other thing that uh, is available also is uh, theme, our themes. So if I go to change the look here, or I can go to the site settings and get to the same place, but I'm just going to click on change the look. Uh, you have access to exactly the same set of themes, um, but but there are many more. So um, you know it, it may look like there's just like 20 or 18 or whatever, but if I click next, there's there's about 60 I think, uh, maybe not 60. Yeah, 41. There you go. But there's, there's, you know, there's some starter themes. So if you like a theme and you want to use it for your website, for example, this one, it's the same sort of uh, procedure. You click try it out. Uh, you see how it looks. Now one thing that didn't change is the wait time. Um, and here it is. And this is how a theme is gonna look like. I'm gonna say, yeah, keep it. Uh, that's what I wanna use. And uh, here is the end result. So obviously, you know, this theme is using its own master page. So obviously the, the stretched out navigation and everything got realigned a little bit. So, um, so that's pretty much it. Um, now there's a little widget here or a little icon, link here that says make website online. So this website is by default offline. If you click on this one, it's just a, basically a simple process here that says that now if you click continue, uh, things are going to actually be available online. So now if I say make online, uh, for that split second, 
uh, I didn't click it. Uh, for that split second, you could actually have a uh, you could have actually asked uh, accessed uh, share my dash public uh, on online, but obviously I don't want to do that. Uh, so I'm just gonna decide. Um, I'm just gonna decide and I'm gonna turn it off because um, yeah, it's just not ready. All right, so so that's a little bit of uh, a little bit of an overview. So let's take a look at some of the uh, some of the things again that are here, just to kind of recap what we have. We have uh, permissions. We have everything that we ever wanted to do with UI. And in fact, if you open SharePoint Designer, you can actually edit the master page, and you can also add your own themes, just like you normally would, right? You have a theme gallery where you can add things to here. So that's possible. So, um, so that and that pretty much satisfies you know a lot of uh, uh, public uh, site scenarios, right? You just want to add content and change UI. So that pretty much is available out of the box. So in the next video, I wanted to show how you can actually do the provisioning of all of this stuff, uh, such as master pages, layouts, and themes, uh, using and it, is it even possible uh, to provision it using a uh, solution package? So stay tuned for more details on that.